I just found the best, easiest, most beautiful, no heat, curly hairstyle ever. I've been looking for this my entire life and I'm now wearing it nearly every day and my life is changed forever. Ba, 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 ba. and welcome back to another video. I'm just casually, but not so casually, sitting here on my white bed in my white clothes with a super cool video filter and feeling super aesthetic and full of joy because I have found, get this, a no heat, no fuss, super quick, literally five minutes, super easy way to get beautiful curls and you don't even have to sleep in them overnight or do the hairstyle on damp hair. Like honestly, this is a miracle. You can just twist this bad boy up and wait three or four hours and then you're good to go. And so, today, I wanted to share it with you. Okay, so as I said, this is a really, really simple tutorial. All you're going to need are two bobby pins, and these are just the regular standard size bobby pins, two or three scrunchies, and then also two headbands. Um, and I've tied these together at the corners, as you can see here. So just two um, yeah, bandanas and you're gonna put them over your head like so. And then of course a comb to part your hair down the middle. So I washed my hair this morning. It's been drying for probably three or four hours now and it's perfectly dry. And I've just gone ahead and put some moisturizer in the end of it, uh, which was just my jojoba oil. So it's been moisturized and this is a really, really great thing to do as well to moisturize because when you're wearing your hair out, it looks a little bit oily, but this is a really protective hairstyle that you can wear to bed, you can just wear during the day and it will leave you with curls, but in the meantime, it will moisturize your hair without making it look greasy. And then when you take it out, it's all soaked in and it's not greasy anymore. Obviously, don't go overboard with the oil. Because <laughs> if you put in heaps of oil, it's just going to be oily regardless. <laughs> but yeah, I just put like a five cent piece, like a one centimeter. You guys are in America, you don't have the metric system. Anyway, a small amount of oil <laughs> into my hand and I just rubbed it through my hair. Also like rubbed my face and stuff to moisturize that. But yeah, so this is freshly washed hair. As you can see, it's naturally a little bit curly anyway. This is not crimped or anything, that's just how my hair falls. But yeah, so if you don't have hair that holds a curl very well, this may not work as well for you, but my hair naturally is like a type 2A, I think, um, on the curl spectrum. If you don't know what that is, neither do I really, but um, <laughs> there's like different types of curls that girls have and mine's like in the wavy spectrum, but like low waves. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so the first step is just to comb out any knots from your hair, super simple, and then part your hair down the middle. Yes, yeah, so my hair has a natural side part because I have a cow like right here which sprouts lovely baby hairs all the time. So you can definitely do a parting down the middle that will probably leave you with a better result. But for me, I physically cannot do that, so we're going with the side part today. <laughs> The next step is to just secure one side of your hair into a ponytail to keep it out of the way and then you're going to go ahead and attach the bandana to the top of your head. So you want to move maybe two or three, maybe even four centimeters past the front hairs, so past your hairline, and then place it down on top of your head and then attach it with two bobby pins near to where your parting is. If you do this anywhere else, you won't be able to wrap the hair around the bandana very well. So putting the bobby pins as close to your parting line as possible is the best way to go. And who said white girls can't dance? Literally everyone. Right, so now that that's all done, uh, we're going to get into the exciting part, which is twisting your hair around the bandana. And I'm going to be showing you this on camera, so I'm going to shut up in the voiceover right now. So as you can see, the bandana is sitting probably two to three, maybe even four centimeters back on my head. Now this is because I don't want the curls to be really tight near the front of my face and look all kind of bushy. I will link a picture of what that looks like here <laughs> versus what it looks like when it's a little bit further back on your head here. So um, yeah, you can definitely see a pretty strong difference there. So I like to put it a little bit further back and have a looser curl, but if you're after like real volume, like crazy, talking like uh, Olivia Newton-John from Grease Lightning or Kath from Kath and Kim. If you want those really big curls, definitely put it further forward on your face and also tie it much more tightly around the bandana or pick a piece of material that's a lot less 
like thick, you can pick like I don't know a tie or a thinner scarf, um, which will give you a much tighter curl. But for me, I go for the loose curls. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove this, remove the flyaways. <laughs> I love flyaways. Gonna remove the flyaways from the actual hair. And we're gonna grab a piece of hair, sort of at the edge of our eyebrow. That's where I like my curl to start. That way it kind of starts curling nicely and frames the face. So we're just gonna loop that over the piece of material and then loop it back under again so it's facing back out towards the hair. Now, at this point, what we do is we grab another piece, kind of like the French braid style, you grab a little bit more and continue grabbing the piece that's just gone through and you grab it around and then you pull it around again. So you've got double as much this time. And then you repeat the process again and again all the way down the hair shaft. Hair shaft? Side of the head? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> until we get all the way down to the bottom. Now, if you want really tight curls, as I said before, what you can do, is you can, as you're grabbing it, you bring it around the bandana once, but then rather than taking more, you go around again, like so, and then you grab another piece. Now, personally, I don't like the look of this. <laughs> no, that's not true. I don't, it's not that I don't like the look of this, I just think it doesn't suit me personally. So if you're after tight curls, do double um, twists every single time, but for my purposes, I'm gonna go like this. And as you can see, I'm not pulling that tightly, like it doesn't hurt my head. It feels feels secure, but not tight in the sense that I, you know, I'm worried that I'm not gonna be able to sleep on it. Anyway, we're gonna continue down the hair shaft. Why do I keep calling it a hair shaft? It's not what it is. Anyway, we're gonna keep going down <laughs> the side of the head and taking a little bit more hair each time as we go. Now, sometimes because of the bandana that I'm using, it kind of overlaps. You'll get hair kind of stuck in it. So if you get to the end and you have really long pieces hanging out, that's just because a piece of hair has just got caught in the bandana and hasn't you know, wrapped around. So if that is the case, you can just kind of wrap it around at the end. And because I can't really see what I'm doing, it's probably gonna happen. Right, so once you've got it all wrapped around the bandana, you're just gonna go ahead and keep wrapping it. <laughs> just like so. So you get right to the end, once it's all nicely neat and rapid rapid in. So you're gonna get a hair tie and you're just going to go around um, without losing the tension in the hair. So this can be a bit fiddly, especially if your hair is not naturally straight. Um, might be a bit more difficult. Okay, <laughs> all right, so that's that done. Now, you will notice if I let this go, it's just gonna like, whoa, that actually worked. <laughs> Okay, usually that unwraps completely. I mean, it gets a bit looser and kind of falls out here. So what you're going to want to do is hold this somehow. So you can either secure that to the side of your head with a clip, but I personally just kind of do that, okay? I'm just hold it there while I do the other side, okay? I don't have a clip. Probably should invest in one for YouTube, but we're trying to be frugal, we're trying to be minimalistic, so we're gonna use the appendages that God has given us, namely our teeth. <laughs> Okay, so that's all twisted, that's all tight, and it feels comfortable, it's not pulling at all, so we're going to go and do the other side now. Just something small to keep in mind. I know it's probably fairly obvious, but the second time I ever tried this, I did it the wrong way. So rather than bringing my hair up in front of the piece of material and towards the back of my head and then under, so you're going up and under, up and under, I tried to do it opposite, so I, like, I took the hair from my head and brought it forward towards my face and then under the material, so it was inverted curls and it curled really funky and then dried really funky because I did it when, I, when it was wet. So that was a really big mistake. I actually don't recommend doing this hairstyle wet on wet hair because um, it just ends up being really curly, like really tight curls, really crazy. If you want your loose, nice, glossy curls, you just want to do it on dry hair and make sure that you're going over the piece of material. I hope that makes sense. If not, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and explain it for you. Okay, so as you can see here, this isn't the prettiest because I've got a rogue piece just here. Hello, that's okay, don't worry, it's gonna look fine. So, we've got two tied up piggy tails, essentially, all nicely wrapped and twisted, and now you have a few options. Okay, so you can go ahead and wrap it around and do like the Princess Leia style and then secure that with a scrunchie. Now, this is really good because um, the end of the bandana, at least for me and my length of hair, there's plenty of it left, so you can just wrap that around and it kind of secures everything and you do the same on the other side. Alternatively, you can go ahead and make one bun at the back. So I'm just gonna show you that now. 
This is the most difficult part. If you can do this bit, you can do anything. Power to you, girl. So you can go ahead and bring it around the back like this. And then what I basically do is just kind of figure it out. <laughs> just kind of tie a knot, wrap it all up like this. Now, this is another thing to keep in mind. Sometimes it will go a little bit loose on the side like this. I don't know if you can see that. That's actually perfectly fine. I've slept in that heaps of times. It kind of comes out, but it's still really nice and curly. However, if you want to wear this as a hairstyle during the day, I recommend getting it as tight as possible for the best results. So usually I do the two buns on the side of my head. However, if I want to sleep in it, the best thing to do is what I'm about to show you. And it's so comfortable to sleep in. So I get this. So what I do, like this, go over the side and around the top of my head like so, okay? So this is going to create a bit of a, bit of a tie at the front. If you didn't understand what I just did, I'm going to show you again. So, okay. So you have them like this. Now you're going to pull the left one to the right side and the right one to the left side. I just did that backwards. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it one at a time this time. Hold this one. I'm going to keep. Pull that one to the side. Pull that one to the side, keeping the tension as tight as possible. Mm -hmm. Swap the teeth. <laughs> I'm going to do the same on the other side. You keep the tension as tight as possible. Pull it around. Okay, now you should have crossed them over just like this. And then all you have to do, now you can do this in multiple ways. You can like cover your ears, you can just sort of whatever. I just like to take it up onto my head. And then what I do is I tie it in with the current ties that are sitting there. And that just helps to secure the whole look and it just sits perfectly in place. So obviously you're not going to want to wear this or maybe you would actually, depending on the kind of bandana. I'm not going to want to wear this out of the house too much, but because, considering we're in isolation, that's totally fine. However, um, if you want to cover this up with another headband, like a beanie on top, that's cool. Um, and yeah, so I just basically tie this into current tie system that we've got going on. And then it all just sits perfectly like that and you can sleep in it and it's super comfortable. It's super comfortable. You can just tuck that in so it doesn't look crazy. And that is my easy, no heat, no moist hair, something or other, insert title of the video here. Um, and it takes literally like five minutes. It's so easy. Now I'm going to show you this once it's all done. I'm going to go to sleep and that's really it. Although another thing that I should say is that you actually don't need to sleep on this. I've done this hairstyle, worn it for about three or four hours, taken it out and it's still perfectly curly, really, really good. So it's not even a sleep in hairstyle. You don't, so you don't need to, you don't need any heat treatment. So no heat, no sleep, no wet hair hairstyle that works wonders for curls. So um, I'll show you the before and after pretty soon. You guys, I am currently in the process. I know you're all holding out for it. I'm currently in the process of trying out all of the different no poo methods. So stay tuned for a video on that in the next month or so. I really want to do a thorough analysis and thorough video on all of them and which one works best. Um, which ones have side effects, you know, how to make them, how to do them. So that'll be a really comprehensive video or maybe videos, maybe a series. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you all. Thank you very much for joining me and see you later. Okay guys, so it's now the next morning and I'm going to show you what my hair looks like when I take it out. effect guys I hope you enjoyed this video um, please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more hair tutorials because I'm really into that at the moment and um, subscribe to my channel for more um, natural beauty and lifestyle and art and music content bye mm -hmm, baby, this world, it drives me crazy I've been